I want to thank everyone for following along on my trip to Horizon Farms in North Dakota. It was so much fun and I learned so much. Many of you are asking, how does this beautiful linen plant become this gorgeous linen top? The process in itself is incredible. As we already shared, linen fabric is made from the flax plant. Flax seed is planted in March and it's harvested in July. The growing season is about 100 days. It grows naturally without the need for pesticides or irrigation. I just love that. Flax does best in cooler climates. North Dakota is one of the largest flax producers in the U.S. And Canada is the largest flax producer in the world. Most flax grown in North America is for flaxseed oil, also known as linseed oil, that comes from the plant's seeds and has a wide range of both dietary and industrial uses. Flax grown for flaxseed oil is planted farther apart to be shorter and bushier to create more seeds. The flax that we saw on Horizon Farms in North Dakota is grown for its oil. Flax grown to produce linen fabric is planted closer together and it grows twice as tall, about four feet in height. Close to maturity, flax blooms with beautiful periwinkle flowers that bloom for only a few hours. They peak in the early afternoon and they fall away by sunset. They are replaced by new blooms each day for about two weeks. Harvest usually occurs in August. The flax plant is not cut when used for fabric. It is uprooted because the precious fiber is also in its roots. Harvesting is done by mechanical grubbers that pull and lay the flax on the fields. Then the next step is called redding, where the uprooted flax plant remains in the field for several weeks. It's exposed to moisture that breaks down the pectin that binds the linen fiber to the stem of the flax plant. So during this time, it is also getting its natural color through interaction with the rain, the soil, and the sun. And then when it's fully redded, it is removed from the fields in large bales. Linen fibers are then separated from the stem of the flax plant through a mechanical process called scutching and hackling. <laughs> the fibers are combed fine, ready to be spun into flax yarns. It kind of looks like hair, doesn't it? During the spinning process, short and long fibers are spun into yarns of various weights and thicknesses. Bobbins of flax yarn are then sent to the weavers and using sophisticated computers, it is positioned on a loom vertically and horizontally. During this process, the newly woven linen fabric is continually examined and with any weaving flaws repaired by hand. Once woven, linen can be sold as in loom state, which is entirely untreated. The unique flax color of linen is obtained naturally and often a sign that the fabric is in loom state. Many of our pieces are in that natural flax color. Other linen rolls go through some type of finishing, dyeing, bleaching, washing, easy care, etc. The linen that we purchase is Ocotex, certifying that it has been thoroughly tested for any harmful substances. Isn't it all just incredible? It's, it's kind of a miracle. There is nothing better for our bodies or our environment than linen. This is more true today, I think, than ever before. My next story will be on the apparel industry's impact on our environment. You may be shocked by what I'll tell you but it will make you love linen even more. <laughs>